Negroes. They just popped up. So, you will never find what you seek. You have to become what you seek in order to attract it to you. And that's one of my quotes. It's in a book I got coming out too. But let's talk about it. It's a good lesson today. You know? Because I, 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 I was talking to one of the gods. And he was asking me about um, how can he attract a good goddess and you know, how can he become more successful when he wants to make more money and shit like that? And let's get that down. And, you know, I was telling the young God, I was like, hey, you know, one thing that you have to understand is that we've been lied to on every level. We really believe that we have no effect on our environment. Because remember, they trained us to be Negroes, to have a Negro mindset. And if you don't have a Negro mindset, at best you have a nigga mindset, which is a low vibrating God or goddess. A nigga is just a God or a goddess who doesn't recognize his or her full potential yet. Every day we wake up and we say shit like this out of our mouth. I'm chasing my dreams. I know it's going to happen one day. Or we have dreams we want to go after and we or things we want to do. Things that our soul is telling us to do. Remember, you have a soul contract. We all came here for a reason. So your soul reminds you of why you came here. Whatever make you happy, that's what you're supposed to be doing. And it's about making money. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to remember, the money that we see is man-made. We always had currency, a form of exchanging energy, but it wasn't necessarily like money. You get what I'm saying? But we live now in a world that has been created and built around a piece of paper they call a dollar. That So it puts you in the mindset where you're like, hey, well, if I don't make this these dollars, I, that's not success or I can't do what I'm trying to do. So you get a lot of people that's trying to attract money to them. All right. And, and I get it. I understand why, because this is the matrix that we live in. So you, you can't act like it's not here. You know, you don't change this matrix by acting like it's not here. You can't act like the rules of this matrix don't exist. You know what I'm saying? That's not how you break it. You know what I'm saying? You have to acknowledge the rules. You have to acknowledge the matrix. All right. But before you can acknowledge the matrix, you must first acknowledge you. You must first acknowledge the self. You must get in tune. With the ethereal self. You must tap into your DEA. Your RNA. You must remember. You know. You are the creator of the wind. Who you think. Who you think. Command elements. We do that. You should be saying this to yourself every day. When you look in the mirror. You should look yourself in the eye and say this every day. I am. Everything and everything is me. I give breath to the wind. I give stability to the earth herself. I am the embers of the flame on the fire. I am the life that the fire breathes. It is I who purifies the water and gives it its purity. I give life to the sun. I give life to the moons, the planets. Every day you should be saying it to yourself when you look yourself in the mirror. I am that I am. The reason you should be saying that is because you will never find what you seek. You must become what you seek in order to attract it to you. This is one of my quotes. I have a book coming out like I keep telling y'all. And I, I, I have my own quotes that I and I, that I come up with about life where I just teach through my quotes 
And that's one of them. Stop trying to chase a top. Stop trying to chase your dream. We gods. We don't chase dreams. Just saying that out your mouth. You're spell casting. You say you're chasing your dream. So you're going to always be chasing it. Listen to yourself. You saying you chasing your dream. Or you're chasing this good God. Or you're chasing this good God. Or you're chasing this good job. You up all night. 5 a.m. working hard as hell because you chasing some shit. And that's why you, you, you'll you never have it. Because you're chasing it. But we are ancient beings. You don't have to chase anything. We manifest. We don't chase shit. We manifest. You are the magician. Write down. When you write it down, that's an affirmation. That's magic one-on-one. -on -one. First step to manifesting anything is to write it down. Definitely when you first started. Write it down. When you write it out, when you spell it out, listen to my words. When you write it down or spell it out, now it becomes an affirmation. Only thing left do now is to incant it. Remember, we create with words and thoughts. They are what? Vibrations. I just taught this in, in yesterday's class about vibrations. Everything vibrates. This is why meditation is key because every thought that you think is not even your thoughts. Every single, we are all connected. Reflection, the carbonated beings. Everything you think, you send it out to the universe, to the ethers. So it travels on the etheric planes. And we are all connected through our DEA, our deoxyetheric acid. So this means we can fill everybody's thoughts. Everybody else's thoughts runs through your head all day. This is how magical we are. We give life to the sun, man. We give stability to the earth. It is you the whole time. This universe don't move without you. And you think everything outside of you is separate from you. It's all extensions of yourself. We were fruitful. We multiplied. Where do you think that came from in the Bible? Originally, that comes from us. Remember, the black Latino woman has mitochondrial DEA, DEA, as it should be called, found in her cells. This mitochondria is only found in dark matter energy. So, when you understand what you are, you understand the power of why you should write it down. You've been taught words now. So this is a part of your belief construct. So you write it down first to articulate so you can understand what it is you're trying to attain. But once you see what it is that you're trying to attain, then you start the process of speaking it out in canon. To match the vibration of what you already wrote down. This is why you recite it repetitiously. Now, once you've written it down, you must become what it is that you wrote down. See, let me give you an example. A lot of individuals, right? A guy is to say, hey. Oh, he fine. He got a nice body. I'm not saying about me. I'm just saying in general. She might see a guy, right? This is an example. She might say, oh, he fine. He got a nice body. Now, the God, all you tell he work out, he work out or whatever. But she but she want she want to attract a God on that vibration. 
But she's not on that vibration. You get it? You loving that God, you talking about, oh, he got a nice body. And you want to attract that in your life. But you don't work out. That God work out. So that God puts the work in to have what it is that you are liking about him right now. Yet you don't do it though. And you're wondering why you can't attract that type of God. Same thing with the gods. Man, I want to find me a good God is this going to be truthful to me. That's going to help me. Help me grow. Give me that stability I need. Right. But you're not being it is that you're not even being what you're seeking. So you're not on that frequency of what you want. So as a God, you'll get with a goddess and be like. Oh, she a bitch. She a thought. She a hoe. She she this, she that. Right. This what you would say about 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 your God is that you would if she not meet your expectations. You'll look down on her. Right. But as a God, what you fell to realize is that you must become what it is that you seeking. In order to attract it to you. You're only going to attract to you the vibration that you're on. The universe don't care about what you want. The cosmos don't care what you want. It's only going to give you the vibrations that you send out. Because you are the genie of this universe. So. You control the outcome of, of, of that goddess. Based upon the way you re you react within yourself. As a goddess, you control. You get what I'm saying? You control the outcome. Like. We want so many things, but we aren't becoming what we want. You must become that first. To attract it to you, to attract it to you, you will never find what you are looking for. That's not how the cosmos work. You just going to end up looking and looking and looking and looking and looking and looking and looking. And some motherfuckers spend their whole life looking. Motherfuckers die, leave the realm, leave their avatar looking. You don't have to look. Everything starts right here. Right? But you must become what it is that you are seeking. And then you will attract it to you. You can't be miserable. Vibrating low. But you want to you wanna be at peace. You searching for peace. You like I'm just, I'm just looking for a peace of mind. I'm just out here looking for a peace of mind. But you gossiping every day though. You said you looking for a peace of mind, but you gossiping about everybody and their mama though. And you wonder why you can't find a peace of mind. God, you see somebody with money, because let's use money, right? Because that's saying money is used as, as the upper as the standard down here in the material realm. So let's use the little standard of money. We know money ain't nothing, though. Money ain't number energy. It's just a thought, man. But you will sit here and see the other guy with jewelry, money, or whatever you think is a nice standard of living good. And you, you won't understand why you don't have that level of success. Of what you think is success. Because in your world, money is success. So in your world, since money is, is the standard, and that's what your world is going to be based around, right? So you want to be successful like the God you're looking at, or like the people you're looking up to, but you're not trying to put in no type of work to become that, to make it to that standard. And the work starts with yourself. It's you. 
it ain't going outside of you. It's with you. You're not trying to put the work in with yourself to be what it is that you're seeking. Everything is frequency. Everything exists. Vibration is frequency. Everything is vibration. So what you so when you talk about money, that's a vibration, that's a thought. It's just a thought. When you're thinking new home, new new car. Peace of mind. These are thoughts. These are vibrations. These are places of existence within you. They only exist from your perspective. And nobody will ever have your perspective other than you. Everything that we send out is a vibration. I repeat. And nobody will ever have your perspective other than you. So you must become what it is that you are seeking. Now you will, the now, the planet, the plane, has to match your vibration. You want to feel good, right? You can't you can't go looking for a stimulant outside of you to make you feel good. You have to tell yourself that. You have to become what it is that you're seeking. And now that you've told yourself that you've rolled, rolled you've went to a higher dimension. And now that since you're on a higher dimension, you will only attract matching vibrations. So, for example, this is why one good thought leads to another good thought, which leads to another good thought, which leads to a bunch of good thoughts, which leads to a bunch of good experiences. Same thing with a bad thought. One bad thought leads to another bad thought, which leads to another bad thought. Now you steady thinking about the shit. Now it's getting worse and worse because you all you're, you're adding all these bad thoughts. Now these bad thoughts materialize ex as experiences. And now you get the experience and all these bad experiences. So this is crucial for our people to understand that we are gods and goddesses. We are the ancient beings. That's why I keep, a lot of y'all ask me, who should I pray to? Don't pray to nobody. Pray to yourself. I keep telling y'all that. Pray to yourself. And I know that that's hard. That sounds hard because you like pray to myself when you spent your whole life believing that it was a power outside of you responsible for your happiness. I understand that. But you must understand that you were lied to. There is no power outside of you. You are the power which you seek. And you will never find what you seek. You must become what you seek in order to attract it to you. You have to become what you seek in order to attract it to you. Everybody going outside of themselves trying to find happiness. Everybody's going outside of themselves trying to find and chase and seeking. And you're doing this and you're doing that. And you wonder why you still don't have it. <laughs> you wonder why you still don't have it because you aren't becoming it. Just become what it is that you're seeking. And then you're going to attract it to you. Just become that. Especially my goddesses. You want a god that's going to treat you good? Okay, start treating yourself good. Treat yourself good. Treat others good around you. Plant those basic little seeds like they was telling you about in their Bible. Plant those seeds. Sprinkle those seeds. Become that individual. You at work, your boss that he cussing your ass out. You don't like you. I can't stand my boss. Man, my mama. The guy's going into work. Nick's working that wing stop just to make ends meet. He ain't trying to sell no more weed. He on probation. He working that wing stop on the side. He man, I go in here today. The nigga, the nigga get on me about the season again. I'm going upside his shit with the whole batch, the whole batch of flats. I'm going clean across this shit. Ping. You know what I'm saying? 
No. Become what you want your boss to be. So if you would want your boss to be speaking more politely to you, more respectfully to you, give you more hours, show you more love, be more patient with you, you have to be that with you and you have to mirror that to others around you. Now the universe can give you that frequency. Go give you that frequency. You feel me, Sherwood Slim? Niggas, no, I'm not lying. It's a nigga in here right now on the low, work at Wingstop, and he on probation. Right now. You hear me? Nigga like, man, God hit it right on the head. Nigga, right, hey, you know what I'm saying? He be in there shaking the wings. He, he in the back. No, they have that big, they have that big ass bowl like this. He be. You said Louisiana rug, right? All flats. All right. Nigga, be back there. Niggas, I done win the wings. I watch the niggas. I be right there at the counter watching their hands. Nigga, I be the nigga like all flats, Louisiana rub. Extra crispy, fam. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? When I go up in that bitch, it's a nigga here right now, one of the guys. We working in that bitch. And his boss be fucking with him. Every time he go in there, y'all, boss be on his ass. Hey. Now, we have one more customer come in here today and say they order all flats. And they got to bring it back and we got to remake the bed. We ain't got enough inventory for that. I'm firing you. I'm let you know right now. I'm going to cut your hours. I'm cutting your hours. You got to get the orders right. If they say all flats, all flats. You know what I'm saying? And he pissed. He pissed. He bitch ass. Now, I know they ain't say all flats. I was there when they placed the order. But he can't say shit because he just got the job. You, you got to be listen, God. You can't. You, you probably act like that with others. People only reflect to you what you are. We only see in others what we really are. That's the scary thing. That's the scariest shit of it all, y'all. You know how like we look at others, we be like, he ain't shit. Fuck her, she a thought. You know, I mean, old hating ass nigga. All these things we be saying about others, we only see in ourselves. That's that's. I'm gonna be real with you. That's the freakiest shit of all. Your soul wouldn't even call it out if it ain't see, if your soul didn't feel like it was something it deal. Cause you, we are each other's reflections. Facts. You wanna know, you wanna, you wanna learn how you feel about yourself? Just pay attention to how you speak about other people, nigga. If you wanna learn how somebody feel about they self, watch how they speak about other people. That's, that's how they feel about they self. Remember, everything come from in here. It's the universe, fam. It's the universe. It comes from within you. You the center of the universe. You know what I'm saying? That's why we have to understand. We have to, everything gonna have to always go within. So, whatever you speak, and that's why when I start understanding that, that's why I be like, peace reflection. You get what I'm saying? Peace reflection. A motherfucker talk shit about me. I don't even really talk shit no more. I might still get, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to let my, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to defend myself and say some shit. That's just energy though. That's just energy. That's just warrior energy. That's cool. That's just basic chaos energy. I'm going to press that. Out. I'm going to push that at the bottom. But other than that, I say what I got to say, I'm not like in me holding nothing towards you. Want to see you go down. Want to see that. It don't be none of that. They be like, I get it. You know, they, they, they said what they said because I, I'm feeling like that about myself. Or oh, I didn't say that about somebody else. You get what I'm saying? We are each other's reflection. So that's why I say you must become what you see. You will never find it. You will never find it. You have to become it. And then it will come to, and then it will come to you. If you chase it, it's just going to run from you. Whatever it is you chasing, it's just going to run from you because you're chasing it. Chasing itself is, is aggressive. Think about it. If you love something, divine, divine love, would you chase it? Do you have to chase your kid? No, you shouldn't have to chase nothing. It should come to you because it loves you back. If you have to chase it, it's not for you. What's for you comes to you. You don't have to chase what's for you. You see what I'm saying? So be what you want. Be what it is that you seek so that it can just come to you. Don't chase it. That's aggressive. That's aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. If anybody get too aggressive, it's going to make you push back. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what it is, nigga. You could want this goddess. She could be pretty as fuck. Because it didn't happen to me before. Like in the past, I'd have seen beautiful goddesses and I want her. And if she get too aggressive, I'd be like, hold. Hold on. You feel me? Hold on. 
you getting a little aggressive. You know what I'm saying? You be you don't be look, you don't be you be you get the question like, hold on, why this motherfucker so thirsty? Fuck you so thirsty. Fuck you got in your coochie. Why you trying to drop them draws so quick? You know what I'm saying? What you got in them draws? You know what I'm saying? You gotta think. I'm trying to tell you, like, you have to pay attention, man. You gotta pay attention, like, you gotta pay attention to that. You feel me? It works both ways, though. Because when somebody's aggressive, it's the third, it's the aggressive energy of, and we are magnets. So magnets are only attracted to things that on a look, look. This is basic, basic. Let me teach you something about magnets. Like and like repels. Unalike attracts. So this is why opposites attract. Okay? Gods. Gods. Hear me out. Let's take it back to high school. Somewhere we either all in right now or we didn't all been through. Remember in high school you like that goddess. You see her. You finally get the courage to say something to her. You start driving on her. Start giving her ass attention. What she start doing to your ass? She start playing your ass, nigga. Because you too thirsty. Every period you want to you wanna speak, hey, Keisha. You see her second period, hey, Keisha. See her third period, Keisha, hey. Like every period, nigga, by seventh period, nigga, she like, she ain't even looking your way no more. You like, well, what do I do? Well, she must not be feeling me no more. No, because like repels. You're going to repel her. You repelled her because you was chasing now, try to play her to the left tactic. I've done it before in high school growing up. Play her to the left. Okay, because I've done it. I didn't like her. Been hey every period. And then by eighth period, she ain't saying nothing to me. Now for three days, she ain't saying nothing to me. I'm like, damn, well, is it me? I, I mean, I look the same. What the fuck wrong with me? You know what I'm saying? I look the same. Monday, you was on a nigga. Wednesday, you ain't even on me. So I know I ain't got no shot of going to the movies with you this weekend. That's over with. But I'm the same me. What the fuck is wrong with me today? You know, that's how I used to be. I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. But see, when you, when you elevate and understand the metaphysics of everything and that we are electrical beings and magnetic beings and that we have an electromagnetic field around us called an aura and that this planet is a magnetic realm, facts, my nigga. You understand basic shit like why this happened. Okay, so then I would do this. Okay, so since she want to play like that, now, when I come in tomorrow, I ain't going to say shit to her ass. I ain't going to look her motherfucking way. Nigga, that now I go in. So, Monday, she was all on me. Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm all on her. She playing me like she ain't even feeling me. Okay, cool. Thursday, Friday, nigga. I thurs the whole Thursday, I ain't looked her way. And, then, and it always worked. Nigga, by Friday, nigga, I come into school with my book bag. Nigga, she all on me. Hey, you, you came today? I didn't even know if you was going to come. I didn't know if you was going to come to school today. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, we never understood that. We never understood that, right? But this is what it was. It was the magnetic frequency of like and like repels. Unlike attracts. So, when I was coming and chasing her and giving her all that energy, all that attention, it was repelling her. Right? She a magnet. She has a soul. She's a magnet. Right? I didn't know that though, but she's a magnet. I'm a magnet. Now, Thursday come, fuck it. I ain't gonna look your way. So I purposely walk past her like I walk down the hall her way, walk past her lockers on purpose, not even look her way. Look, I could have went a whole nother way. I purposely come down past her lockers. She right against the lockers with her. Because you know everything did go down at the lockers and shit. That's why Desi Smith, Desi Banks had me laughing at his little skinny did about the lockers. Because everything did go down by the lockers, nigga, for real. So, you know, they laid against the lockers and shit. Nigga, I come walking right past they ass. Don't even, this them, this them, y'all. They Y'all them, this me. All day, nigga. Feel period, same shit, nigga. I'm purposely stopping in front of them, but not looking at them. Hey, yo, yo, hey, my nigga, hey, hey, you know, hey, we gonna hoop later on. Yeah, we, I'm gonna catch y'all two thirty. You already know, same court, same court. I'm there, I'm there, nigga. You hear me? All type of shit. You hear me? All in their vision, but not giving her no, it's not. You know what I'm saying? We in the class, nigga. I'm, I'm purposely going to motherfuckers that's right next to her. You know, her name Katrina. She sits right next to Charmaine. 
I ain't never said shit to Charmaine, but today I'm all in Charmaine. Hey, Charmaine. Girl, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Winters, he funny as fuck, ain't he? Yeah, the science project, that's what I was saying. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, you know. Got her, got Charmaine laughing. She's sitting in the right, I ain't even looked her way. I'm spinning in her way on purpose and going all over her head with it. Too. Hey, hey, Reese, hand me, uh, hand me the books. This is her, I'm all over her. Hey, let me get the books. Yeah, uh, yeah hey, Charmaine, so you still you, we still go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Not even understanding the Mac. Nigga, by Friday, nigga, she on me. I ain't speaking to Charmaine again. Saturday, we at the movies. Everybody wins. You feel me? You know, like, hey, you know. But as you get on a higher frequency, you understand that it with anything in life, that's just a basic example. Like, you can't go chase that shit. You got to become what you seek so it can come to you. You feel me? It can come to you like, it's a magnetic thing. We live in a magnetic realm. And you have a soul and a spirit. Remember, keep in your mind at all times, family, that you are spirit and soul. Okay? What is the spirit? The spirit is electricity. What is the soul? Magnetism. You have an aura. Seven. Remember, I've been teaching y'all this. Seven levels to your aura field that you can attain. Seven chakras that you must enact. You can reach 33 chakras total in this material. You get what I'm saying? So you have to remember at all times that you're not the body. So you don't have to chase shit. You are a magnet. Just become what it is that you are seeking. And you will attract it to you. You will attract it to you. Be it peace. Be it success. Be it a great relationship. Be it the, the, um, the unity of your family. Be Even us as a people. Like If we could all just get on the same frequency then we could become this change that we want. So that's why I said the change starts here with us, like getting enlightenment and learning who we are. It starts right here. It starts right here with this basic enlightenment of basic principles because that's huge. People wake up every day and go work for these white people because they are chasing the American dream. Fact. We spend our whole life chasing shit. You got goddesses right now that's depressed because they want them just one good one. And they've been chasing it their whole life. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to never get it. Like goddesses. You got gods feel the same way. You know what I'm saying? You got young guys right now. They in the streets because they chasing that money because they got to get it. They feel like they got to get it. They don't know they can sit and go within themselves and meditate and, and, and become what it is they seek. And it's going to come to them because we wasn't taught that. We was only taught to go outside of ourselves. Even to the point where we start robbing our other people and hurting other people and slandering our, our own and trying to kill our own and even hurt our, like, to that point because we don't know this esoteric truth. We divine beings. So, understand, learning that we gods and goddesses is all type of little lessons like this that must be attached, like, your soul will have to grasp it. Don't go chase nothing. This is where peer pressure comes from. For all my youth, trying to get that approval of your peers, you seeking that shit, you chasing that status. Now you out here killing motherfuckers, hustling. You cussing your mama out, you running away. You didn't got you only 17. You didn't got pregnant three times since you was 14. Because you seeking approval, you chasing approval. You trying to get some views, some likes, some, some social media status or whatever. You got, you got gods that sign record deals. Goddesses that sign deals as actresses and, and models and allow these Hollywood script writers to stick all type of dick in them. All in their nose, their mouth, their ass, their fingers, goddamn it, they in between their finger, dick everywhere. Nigga, just because they chasing the spotlight. You got these rappers out here killing their homies, sacrificing their homies, their family members, man. Because they chasing. That shit chasing, that shit dangerous, man. You start chasing anything, you become, you become, listen. Think about it. To chase some, what you got to be? Then Willie Coyote chased the road runner and he never caught him, right? They know you ain't going to never catch what you're chasing. You an ancient being. They want you to chase. They want you to spend your whole motherfucking life chasing some shit. While they sit back and just enjoy what you, what they got you working hard to chase. We gods, man, we don't chase nothing. This shit going to come to you. This shit just going to come to you. Just be what it is that you're seeking. 
Everything is right here. You ain't you don't need to go outside of yourself for nothing. For nothing. You feel me? Man, I ain't got to drop no names. Y'all know niggas out here sacrificing niggas, man. And selling merch with their name on it. You know what I'm saying? And they, he ain't the only one. A lot of motherfuckers doing it. So we ain't going to single him out. You get what I'm saying? Everybody doing it. That's a part. Just, that's just an example. Like, because motherfuckers chasing. You feel me? Motherfucker out here chasing. You ain't got to chase nothing. You are the center of the universe. Nigga, meditate. Sit right where you at, nigga. Lock in, nigga. Go within. Feel me? Go within. Tell yourself you're going to be what it is that you want. And enact that. And watch how this universe react to you. This is your universe. This is your world. You gave life to the sun. You gave life to the moon. I keep telling you this. You, you, you give stability to the soil of the planet, my nigga. To the motherfucking soil of the planet, my nigga. You did that. You do that. Every day. With every breath you take. Keep telling you, you got chromosomes in you. The sun has a chromosome. The, 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 the sun has a chromosphere. The chromosphere of the sun and your chromosomes are the same exact thing, my nigga. You have trillions of cells in you. These cells are actually different galaxies and planets and universes, man. You are the macrocosm and the microcosm. You are the macrocosm and the microcosm. So you live on a planet which is, has, which is composed of nine planes. So in the, on the planet, you are the microcosm. But within your own avatar, you are the macro, you are the macrocosm, and then you have things like atoms and electrons and neutrons and protons. In cells. With a nucleus. And they all have jobs. Amino acids that carry messages from the sun back to your DEA every day. You get what I'm saying? These are actually entities living within you with whole lives and families. You know what I'm saying? That's what you don't know. That's how deep this shit get. In the vastness of this multiverse. There are no words to describe what you are. I can only use so many. It's not enough. And they are not big enough. And not defined enough because the language, English language itself, is not, in, it's not deep enough to cover who and what we are. This is cave language. We gave this language, I keep telling you, we are using alphabets, man. You're using alphabets right now to communicate. We're using alphabets right now to communicate. We gods, we, I should be able to talk to you right now just using this telepathy. We should be only talking using this. That's why we only made one mouth on these avatars. We put two ears on these avatars, two eyes, one mouth, nigga. You only needed one because we ain't do, we ain't do too much talking, dude. We, we wasn't using this to talk, nigga. It was just another breathing mechanism for the avatar. The nostrils and the mouth. It was not used to talk. Not for our, not for us. Advanced beings, man. Electrical beings, luminous beings, man. Talk about words, man. We didn't fail so far in frequency. If you only can see what you came from, you would be appalled. You would be vastly disturbed if you could only see how far you fell in frequency. What you were doing before they enslaved us and what you are still able, you're still all this shit you're still capable of doing. It's just you're under light cold lockdown. So it makes the reality that you experience here very hard for your soul. And it's not supposed to be that way. This was your planet originally. They took it from you. You don't chase nothing. We manifest. We are the genies of the cosmos. You can sit right there with self and go deep within self and bring about to you whatever you want. You will never find what you seek. 
You must become what you seek in order to attract it to you. You the creator, you the first, you alpha and omega, the beginning and the end, the life giver to the cosmos. Let that seep into your soul. Stop putting all the power and sources outside of self that don't exist. They don't exist, but you do. We do. We are immortal. We are forever. You will never find what you seek. And it'll never come to you. You must become what you seek. Become that standard that you that you looking for. And thus it shall be. Well we got 20 seconds. I don't think delete the lie. I love y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'll leave as I come. One.